so good to see you uh, in the new year, 2024, joining us for our devotion. If you're like me and you like traveling, especially traveling by train, I came across this interesting story I want to leave with you this morning. In the earlier railroad times, it was not unusual for four different rail companies to have their trains, frigid, and passengers run through town. Those big steam engines always got attention, and they do even today. It was exciting to watch them take in water, coal, and then build up steam as they tugged away their long trail of cars. Each locomotive had its own distinctive whistle sound. Whether working in the fields during summer, spring, or whenever, people always knew the day of time as they recognized the steam whistle sounds. Out in the countryside, when the train tracks and road crossed, there would always be a familiar white board signing rail crossing. However, in the town, they had safety instructions. One railroad company installed clanging bells so that it would sound when an approaching train was there. The other polished their bell. The other did things in order to give indication of an approaching train. Well, one of those railroad companies filled up this sign on the road with words like this, stop, look and listen. At another familiar rail crossing, there was a man who approached out of the blue, out of a cabin with a red or green flag in his hand. He was called the flagman. Later on, of course, flashing lights, automatic gates, replaced the flagman and the silent signs. Eventually, even the old steam engine for diesel ones. Stop, look, listen. This type of sign wouldn't work today. People wouldn't see it, let alone read it. But it's good advice for you and I in 2024. Stop, look and listen. Let's take a look at these few words briefly. We must stop. Stop for what? Take inventory into our lives. See the great things God has done for us. Make known His priorities. Keep our priorities right and straight. Lest you and I run into a dead end and wonder what happened. Stop and make sure you and I are on the right track. Stop for rest and contemplation. Stop to consider dangerous signs, pitfalls that might be somewhere on our path. Stop to commune in prayer with our Heavenly Father. Stop to drink water and quench our thirst. Not only we must stop, but we must look. The Bible says, I lift up my eyes to the hills where my help comes from. Look to God, look ahead, look up at Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Look to the Lord for guidance, for strength, comfort, peace, assurance, help, and so many different things. Look, we often look around, but fail to look up. Stop and look. Look not around here and there, but let's learn to look up in 2024. Micah 7.7 7 says, As for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for God my salvation. My God will hear me. Stop and look and listen. We must faithfully listen to our Heavenly Father who says to us, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. Matthew 17.5 There are many voices around us that want our attention, cause us to pay attention. But there's only one voice that you and I must listen to. The voice of Him who created us. The voice of Him who says, I have plans and purpose for you. The voice of Him who says, I love you with an everlasting love. I don't know what you're going through or what you're expecting out of 2024. But if you would listen, you would hear this loving Father, this loving Jesus say to you, I have a plan and a purpose for you. However, it's important we stop, take time, look and listen. 2024 is uncertain in our own hands, but in God's hands, we can be rest assured of His love and faithfulness as we stop, look and listen.